In this video, we'll take a look at using PathArray to add seats to this stadium. I'll start with this model of a stadium and a block of a single seat. I want to add seats to the five levels around the stadium. From the Modify panel, I'll select Path Array. Next, I'll select the object I want to array, in this case the seat, and press Enter. Finally, I'll select the path for the array to follow. Now that we have the seats arrayed around the first row of the stadium, let's edit the array to create the rest of the seats. I'll start by changing the rows to 5 for the 5 rows of the stadium, and the distance between the rows to 60. I'll also need to change the increment of the rows to 40 to set the height of each row. Now that I have all of the seats in the stadium, let's make a few changes to the array. I'd like to change the number of items in the array and change the distance between the items. I'll start by selecting the array. Because the array is associative, I can select any item in the array. Edits I make will apply to the entire array. From the Array Contextual ribbon, I'll change the number of items in the array to 45 and the distance between the items to 30. With these changes, I modified the array to only include seats in approximately 25% of the stadium. Path Array is a powerful tool for creating a number of items with a single command. Give it a try!